Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, where our focus is on the presentment of Hugo Armando Carvajal Barrios, the famous Pollo. He was the spy master under Hugo Chavez. He turned against Nicolas Maduro, went with Guaido, went into exile. He's charged with narco trafficking, more than 5,000 kilos of cocaine. Um, trying to get it into the United States, working with the FARC, working with Colombia. Here's the thing, while he was in Spain, before he was extradited, to be presented today in the building, the tall building behind me, 500 Pearl Street, um, before he was extradited, he wrote to a Spanish judge and said he has the goods. He has the goods about FARC cocaine money going to a number of Latin American leaders. Um, now, you'd think that this could get him a cooperation deal, but it's only if people, those who can offer the deal, want to hear him and have him testify to those things. So we will be all over it. El Pollo Llegó. We're going to do it in English and Spanish. That's why we're putting it up on Substack as well as intercitypress.com so it can be read in various places. Now, on the Trump docket, we have to cover it because yesterday, Judge Kaplan, in a lengthy decision, struck down, not unexpectedly, Trump's arguments for a new trial in the E. Jean Carroll first case and pretty much made it look like, and set a schedule for the second case. It's not going to go well, uh, just, just, to, just, just saying. And also, not unexpectedly, um, Judge Hellerstein of the Southern District is finally issued his written decision confirming what he said orally three weeks ago, that the Alvin Bragg prosecution of Trump will be done in state court and not federal. So those are the two decisions on the Trump case. One, here's a precedent. Yesterday we took a photograph inside a federal courtroom Legally, legally. Normally it's not allowed, but it was a signing ceremony for a New York City Board of Education special education uh, class action agreement. And we've posted photographs of Mr. Banks, the chancellor, good friend of Eric Adams, and um, Judge Preska. So there was that. Now, let's turn to the United Nations. Totally corrupt. They've thrown inner city press out. We've been banned for some time. We've applied to recover the uh, UNGA week, but we asked them about El Pollo. ¿Qué piensa Anthony Guterres about El Pollo? Other than eating pollo, no answer at all. We're going to stay on the case. To be continued.